Hey everyone, I'm Jason Galka and I'm here at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square for the 29th annual Night of a Thousand Gowns, the biggest fundraiser of the year for the Imperial Court of New York and a major opportunity to celebrate the LGBT community while raising funds for related causes. This year, the beneficiary is the National LGBTQ Task Force. So stick around for an incredible night of glitter, glitz, and glam. Plus, special appearances by Dionne Warwick, Debbie Harry, Jody Watley, Raquel, the cast of Avenue Q, plus much, much more. It's all happening right now at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. President of the Imperial Court of New York, Gary Cosgrove. Great to see you tonight. 29 years we've been doing this. Jason, thank you for being here, first of all. We really appreciate it. This is the culmination of a wonderful reign by Emperor Tony Monteleone and Empress Twinkle Montgomery. And you know, the Imperial Court's all about fun and fundraising. Yeah. Jewels and crowns and all kinds of crazy stuff. Glitter, glitz, and glam, as I say. But we, you know, we try to find innovative ways to raise money for our community, and uh, Night of a Thousand Gowns is definitely the sparkling jewel in our year-round uh, fundraising. Absolutely. And as president, I mean, you, you really work your butt off, if you don't mind my saying so. I mean, over the years, millions of dollars have been donated to the LGBT community for various organizations. This year, we're benefiting the National LGBTQ Task Force. And the center. Of, of the LGBT Center down on West 13th Street. Two hugely wonderful organizations that provide all kinds of different services for our community, our youth, which is so important. Our youth is so important. So um, we're happy to honor them tonight and hopefully raise a lot of money for them. Absolutely. I mean, it's always a, a great event. I love coming here. This is the highlight of my year as well, if you will. But also, if I could ask you very quickly, these organizations that you know we're constantly giving back, you didn't start as president. You must have started at some point and worked your way to president, I assume. What was the inspiration to get involved in the first place? Well, this is, the, you know, this is my 21st year with the Imperial Court in New York. And I was first introduced to it as uh, a member's entourage. They brought us back, I think it was the Roosevelt back in 93. And then I saw what kind of great work the court was doing. And the court was formed in 86 uh, because of the AIDS crisis right then and there. And there was nothing for anybody who had, had contracted the disease. So the court was there to raise money for those. And I had so many friends pass from, from, age, uh, from AIDS that I said I needed to do something. So I joined, and within a couple of years, I was on the board. And I served, I've, out of the 21 years, 19 years on the board, nine is the president. The last nine is the president. Um, it's just something that's near and dear to my heart. I don't, I don't consider it work. I love to do it because I do it for the right reasons. It's from my heart. This is all, you know, it's fun to dress up and everything, but when I see the smiles on the faces of the beneficiaries when they receive it, because all our, all our donations are earmarked for services. You know, they're not earmarked for administrative costs or anything like that. We want to see what you're going to provide to our community. We want to see the change, basically. Exactly, okay. exactly. Excellent. Gary, thank you. Jason, thank you, you have a busy you. night. Thank oh, you. Oh, my crazy. pleasure. Thank Give me you. a hug. Mwah. My dear friend, no pun intended, Dars Deer is joining me right now. Darling, you look absolutely stunning. Why, thank you. So do you, so handsome. Thank you. you know, red seems to be the color this year. We have a red step and repeat. You're in red, I'm in red. This is our color this year. The color, it's, it, it's hot, it's exciting, it's dazzling. It is dazzling. Hashtag. This is such a great event. This is my second time doing red carpet here for you. Thank you. I'm having a great time, and I love this. We're benefiting the National uh, LGBTQ uh, Task Force, Task Force yeah. this year, which is a great, great uh, Wonderful. charity as well. So what are we expecting tonight that we haven't seen in the last 29 years? Well, you know, it's a big job every year to make it more exciting, more hashtag dazzling, uh, and it's great. We've got amazing talent this year. You know, we always try to find new talent and exciting talent to come in, and exciting front right off Broadway, we've got Avenue Q coming in, which is great. So uh, I think it's uh, everyone's going to be having a really great time. They're in store with some great, exciting things. And, of course, we're honoring Larry Kramer this evening. Uh, 
um, uh, who's a good friend. Oh, yes. And, of course, we've now created the uh, Joan Rivers Award in honor of Joan, who is a big supporter of our, uh, our, our group, the ICNY. The red carpet queen. The red carpet queen, honey. Boy, no one tears you down like that. <laughs> so it's an exciting night, full of some firsts for us, and of course, just six hours of spectacular, just uh, fun and everything else. I absolutely love it. And you've been with the Imperial Corps for quite some time now. I mean, what, what keeps you there? What do you love about it? Um, well, it's an all-volunteer organization, and the best thing is that uh, the money we raise goes directly to the cause we want. It doesn't go to administration costs. It doesn't go to anything except the programs that we aim it at. We've raised money for almost every LGBT charity here in New York, on, and our big our big uh, give is to at-risk youth because there's a lot of at-risk LGBT youth. Uh, over 40 percent of homeless uh, kids in the U.S. identify as LGBT, so that's a large, large amount of kids who every night go to bed on the streets uh, or get addicted to drugs. So we try to help them. We have a scholarship fund ourselves and. Um, you know, we do what we can. So that brings me back. Oh, so great. Well, you have a lot to do tonight. I'm going to let you go. You look stunning once again. Dars, dear, my loves. Jealousy Jones is joining me right now on the red carpet. How are you this evening? How are you? I'm doing great. I love this event. It's my highlight of my year. It's my uh, sixth time here at Night of a Thousand Gowns. Well, welcome back to you. You look absolutely stunning tonight. I'm sure you can't move around too much up there. It's like a triceratops. You can't tilt your head too much. Now, you've been here six times, as you said. What have you seen over the years? Over the years, I've seen bigger jewelry, bigger costumes, which is the part that I love. The bigger is always better. <laughs> the, bigger, the bigger it gets, the better it is. Amen to that, honey, right? <laughs> so tell me about your outfit. You look absolutely stunning tonight. Uh, the outfit's custom made. Um, it was made for myself. Uh, jewelry, everything was made, designed in, all for myself and designed by my hand. So. Don't sell, but it was made. <laughs> wow, well, very, very nice. And what is your involvement with the Imperial Quarter? You're just here supporting tonight. No, I'm actually the reigning empress of Rhode Island. So I step down next week, actually. Uh, we have our coronation the following week from today. Wow, so what are you taking away out of that whole experience? Uh, a lot of hard work. I've attended 76 events this year between in-town and out-of-town events. And it's just giving back to the community and for those who have helped us along the way. That's what's important. Well, you have a big night ahead of you tonight. Thank you so much. You. Jealousy Jones, you. you too. I'm joined by Ritz Cracker now and... Empress 26, Witty Repartee. Well, welcome to you both. Once again, it's the 29th annual. Can you believe it? Yes. What a great time. And we're, uh, we're actually supporting the National LGBTQ Task Force this year. You're about to walk the red carpet. I mean, over the years, things must have changed so much bigger, better. What have you seen over the years in coming here? Uh, it just keeps getting bigger and more glamorous, and there's more bling. <laughs> and the hair, it just keeps getting larger. It's like the 80s all over again, right? <laughs> I think it's exciting. This year, the Imperial Court of New York's membership has exploded, and there are so many young people, so, much, uh, so many more great ideas, people in the room doing the work. It makes it so much easier on everybody when there's you know, energy and, and, and passion for the work we do. Absolutely. I mean, it gives back to so many communities over the years. Millions of dollars have been donated by the Imperial Court over the years. But I do want to ask you very quick, I know you have to move on, but how long does it take to put all of this together? Um, how long does it take to put it together? Uh, it was on in about 15 minutes, believe it or not. Wow. That's got to be record time. Even RuPaul takes three hours. <laughs> well, RuPaul looks a little better than I do. <laughs> You look lovely. You look fabulous. So thank you both so much. Great to see you, you again. See you. Thank you. Thank for coming. you. I'm joined with Empress 19 Robin Cradles here at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. You look lovely. I love the gowns. I show up just for this and the charity. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's uh, it's just a delightful to be here and Absolutely. and to be working on such a great event and for such great beneficiaries this year, the center and the task force. So. Absolutely. And you mentioned that you were Empress 19. What was that whole year like for you, and, and what was your job really? Well, it was 10 years ago, so this is my 10-year anniversary as Empress. Happy anniversary. And, uh, I, I did 86 events in that year, which at this point is not even a lot. The newer, the newer emperors and empresses are doing more like 125 events in a year, which is crazy. 
Christmas. But you know, everything counts. I mean, this goes for all of our LGBT community. We've donated millions of dollars over the year doing this. So it's always going for great causes. Right, right. I absolutely love your outfit, as I says. I love the glitter, glitz, and glam. Oh, thank you. I made it. Did you? Yeah, I get that a lot from a lot of the, the queens that are here. They make their own clothes. You should really think about going into, like, designing. No, I, I, I have one mannequin, and it's my size. <laughs> so if you're, if you're exactly my size, I can make you something. <laughs> Robin Cradles, everybody. Thank you. Well, it's great to have you both here tonight, all the way from Cincinnati here in New York. How was the trip? It was actually very good, very uneventful, so it's always a good thing. Well, up until now, right? Right, right. <laughs> And be emperor and empress. I mean, I, I've been asking some of the past emperors and empresses when they're in this position. I mean, what is the responsibility? What is it that you take away from when you're turning the crown over to someone else? The idea that what you've built during your year will continue and the organization will continue to grow and prosper even beyond what you've been able to do. Yep, I agree with that. I mean, it's such a great night here. Is this your first time to our Night of a Thousand Gowns? This is our first time to Night of a Thousand Gowns. Welcome to you. My first time in, in New York City, so I'm excited. Wow, so you must really be amazed. This is nothing like Cincinnati. Exactly, right, yeah. I'm just excited to be here, and just the, the glamour and everything is just absolutely... The glitter, the glitz, and the glam. So the red carpet is starting. I bet you're anxious to get out there. And you have a whole night ahead of you. There are some amazing performers coming up here tonight. We are absolutely looking forward to it. Yes. Well, pleasure meeting you both. Thank you Thank for your you support. Adam Barcha is joining me here at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns here in New York City. Great to see you tonight. You look great. I can't, I can't believe it's 29. I can't believe either. I'm only 22, so this has been going on longer than me. I mean, come on. I'm a little older than that. but <laughs> My Botox age, I tell everybody, is 26, so... Good, good, good. <laughs> so tell us, you are very active in the LGBT community. I mean, what are some of the organizations that you also support in addition to this? Well, one of my favorite is, of course, uh, also supported by the court, is God's Love We Deliver, which is my, my favorite charity of all time. I love volunteering, and I'm super excited for them to reopen in April on 6th Avenue, not in Brooklyn. I'm from the Bronx, so Brooklyn's like, you know, Alaska to me. So I'm excited to go back and, and start volunteering there again. That's awesome. And you're also a performer, too. I mean, you're actually going to be working on something with Margaret Cho, who I love. Yes, uh, Margaret Cho. The, the, um, we had the See You Next Tuesday, of course. What, what else would it be called? Um, and I have a song with Honey Boo Boo coming out. Uh, you know, so I'm keeping busy with my reality star duet. Great, great. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks for being here Thank tonight. You. Coco Lachine is joining me now here on the red carpet. How are you this evening? Looking stunning. Thank you. I feel wonderful. Yes. Now, this is not your first time here, of course. No, this is not my first time. I'm one of the original incorporators of the Imperial Court of New York, and I'm the queen mother of uh, the Court of New York. But I was a mere child when I started. Wow. Well, you don't look a day over 30, honey. <laughs> so you must have seen so many changes over the years, so many things for the better, bigger and better. What are some of the things that have possibly changed, and even more so for the better? The most wonderful thing about this organization is we are able to attract younger people to join us, to give us fresh take, fresh look, and fresh ideas, and that we continue to grow every year. So that's the most interesting thing. And what's so great about social media these days, too, I'm sure, is something that really puts it over the top also. I know if I pick my nose, it'll be on the, you know, some social media in the next two minutes. So I will try to behave myself and act with proper decorum. Absolutely. Well, you are very important here, as I said. So thank you so much for being thank here you. tonight. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. The very near future emperor and empress of this year's Imperial Court, Opie and Madison. You guys must be so excited. Congrats to you. Thank you. Great, and it's the 29th annual. Can we believe it? Yes, I. It's um, It's what a dazzling, amazing evening. And we'll be 29 forever. Yes, 29 forever. Just like my real age. Definitely for the next year, at least. Yes. So there's a lot of responsibility that, that goes along with these titles. I mean, what are your future plans for the next year? What can we expect to see? We want to raise money for the local community. I mean, really, I think of our, ourselves as fundraisers in chief. We want to inspire people to do good for the community. And I think that's really what, we, what the court is about. Yes, we want to have fun. We want to raise money. And we want to inspire others to get out there and give back to the community. And both of you have been part of the Imperial Court for many, many years now. Oh, not that many. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're both, I think we're both about five years. 
I had a five-year plan, and it worked out. <laughs> well, congratulations to you both. You look fabulous. Madison, always, we're very good friends. I am joined right now with Emperor Tony Monteleone and Empress Twinkle Montgomery here at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. 29, can you believe it? It's been an amazing year. Yeah. Absolutely amazing year. Tell us about it, because right now you are the current emperor and empress, yes. and you're going to be turning the crowns over tonight. Are you sad? Um, no, I'm actually very excited. Uh, we have two very worthy people that are uh, members of our court that are going to be crowned uh, at midnight. And so, nope, I'm ready. It's been a great year for me and for Tony. It's uh, been a great year for the both of us. And yeah, I'm ready. What has the experience been like for you, Tony? Well, this is my third time reigning. So um, it, it's different every year. Um, my goal is to just raise as much money as we can, have as much fun, laugh, and have a good time. That's what it's all about. And the glitter, glitz, and glam. Absolutely. Absolutely. What you Absolutely. see here is what we yes. do best. Well, you know what? Thank you both so much for this year, for what you did for our community. Very important. And I mean, you're always going to be a part of the Imperial Court. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. Go walk the red carpet. We'll see you soon. Okay, great. And Andrew Christie is here supporting the 29th Annual uh, Night of a Thousand Gowns here from the Imperial Court. Great to see you again. Didn't we just talk recently? Yes, we were at the uh, Peter Pandrew premiere, and I was so happy to have you there. Really, I mean, you did such a great job. It was, it was a blessing to have you there. Yes. So great to see you again. Marcus, you were in the film, actually. Great to see you. Is this your first time here? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm very, I'm very excited to be here. It's a very big event. You're in for a great treat. I mean, Andrew, you've been here with us before. I mean, what have you seen over the years of, of, that the Imperial Court has brought us? Um, I've seen, you know, of course, great performances. Uh, you know, just a, and the best thing is it's a charity. You know, and um, Gary's such a wonderful guy, so he brought me in. And I like to come out and support a good cause because, as you know, like my whole film is about ending stigmas, ending, you know, mental illness stigmas, LGBT stigmas, and this has a stigma in itself, you know, the HIV AIDS stigma, and um, I'm really glad that I was able to come and help out, um, and then we, we got Paris Hilton to tweet, she really came and she helped out, which is wonderful, you know, it's great that you could be here and help out, so anybody who could come and raise awareness for that kind of thing, we're strongly behind. He has a very close uh, tie to the cause, so I brought one of the actors who could feel the cause. Go ahead. Yes, yes. This is uh, this is a cause very near and dear to my heart as I lost my family to HIV AIDS. Um, and so it's just great to be here and be part of the community and help out in any way we can. Great. Well, it's great to see you both again. Welcome to you both all the way from San Francisco, which is actually like the starting of uh, Imperial Court. Wow. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It is. Yes. Um, San, the Imperial Court system started 50 years ago in San Francisco. So we're very proud to be here and help New York celebrate their coronation. 29 years, can you believe it? That's, that's very exciting, and given the fact that we're also celebrating our 50th Jubilee this year, it's, it's just amazing to be in the city. It's amazing. I mean, thank you so much, number one, I have to thank you, because being in part of the LGBT community myself, I mean, this is very important causes that we're trying to raise awareness here. I mean, what is the inspiration to be a part of this organization for you? It definitely is um, just giving back to the community. We do it out of the goodness of our heart to really give back to those who don't have uh, much to be proud of. So we are here to help do what we can to make sure people have a voice, um, to raise money for charity and do what we can. And for myself, I've actually been very close friends with many of the past monarchs and uh, I can tell you that I, to be th standing here right now filling their shoes is a daunting task and I do it out of, out of the goodness of my heart because I believe what I'm doing. So. Well, thank you both so much once again. Pleasure meeting you all the way from San Francisco. Thank you guys. Candace Kane is joining me right now here on the red carpet. Great to see you tonight. Yes, I'm so happy to be here. It's so fabulous. I tell you, red is the color this year. We are all in red practically. They all copied me. No. <laughs> I called you, Jolly. First of all, I just want to say congratulations to you. You are the first transgender actress to appear on primetime number one. Okay, that is so awesome. How does that feel? Oh, it's amazing. It's such an honor. I mean, I... When I started acting, I've always well, I've always acted, and, and and I never really thought it would go anywhere. I just kept on doing it, kept on doing it. And so when I got that gig, I was so excited for me. But then I realized later it wasn't about me. It was about kind of pushing society forward and allowing people like me to be able to do this kind of thing. So. And it's no easy thing discovering number one that you're you are transgender or want to be transgender. I mean, you have there's society, there's family. How did how did your family take it? Well, yeah, I'm one of the lucky ones. My family is super supportive, and they used to come and see all my shows in New York City. They still come and see me. They're they're in California right now. 
waiting for me to get back home and they just came to my show last week. So they're really supportive and I really couldn't have done it without that kind of support, you know. Yeah, oh, that's so great for you. I'm so proud of you, number one. <laughs> How does it feel to be here, part of the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gals? This is an amazing event. It's um, an amazing event. All these dresses, it's so gorgeous. And it's so funny because I got here yesterday and already the queens were starting to wear their get-ups around the hotel. And I mean, this is like the number one tourist attraction hotel in, in New York. So the mix between queens and gowns and tourists, it's hilarious. It's brilliant. I love it. I, got, I would love to see their faces, but yeah. Ken, it's so great to meet you great tonight, to honey. Meet you. I hope you have a Thank you. Time. You too. Rosie Pieri from the uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey is joining me here at the 29th Annual. I'm doing so great. How are good. You? Good, good. Everything's great. What a amazing. Such an amazing event as we were just talking about. I'm in awe right now. I'm so you can't take your eyes over there. Look at all that glitter going on over there. It's like it's blinding me right now. Worse than the lights here, right? So it's great to have you here tonight. And what I love about you is that you actually shared your coming out story on the Housewives of New Jersey, which was very emotional for you. Yeah, it was, you know, at the time it was because, you know, I didn't have like, I didn't have a talk with my niece and nephew. And they were, you know, at that age where I thought, it, you know, it was time. So... At the time, it was emotional. Now I'm good. Everything's just, the only emotion that I, I I feel now is happy. Exactly. Except That's how you should stuck, feel. Except when I'm stuck in traffic, then I'm not. That's New York, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you here. This is your first time tonight. I mean, you are in for such a treat. How are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's awesome. It's like unbelievable. I can't. I'm like I'm looking around. I can't believe how many people are here. It's it's uh it's terrific, really. It yeah. Rosie, thank you so much for, number one, showing your support and being here tonight. Thank you, thank you Rosie. Christian and Amerika Campbell are joining me. I did that good, right? You did. Thank you. I think you, you say it better than my mom does. <laughs> well, thank you both so much for being here tonight. This is the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. I haven't met you both before, so I'm assuming this is your first time tonight. First time. Absolutely. Yeah. First time for everything, right? Yeah, I'll try everything once. Uh, so. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, always. <laughs> I'm just ha I'm having tool envy here and sparkle envy. That's all. I'm just I, I thought that I had enough and now I. It's like you can't take your eyes away from them, right? <laughs> they seem to follow you even when you walk away. Yeah. So it's great to see you both here tonight. What truly brings you down here tonight to celebrate with us? Uh, Gary Cosgrove, um, and. Oh, yeah, really great man. He's been he's been pushing and steering this thing for a long time. It's doing great things. I like the way he set it up. I like his positive attitude. Uh, I think that, I mean just look at this. It's fabulous. So yeah. And both of you work as actors. I mean, this is probably like nothing you've ever worked with before. I'm sure. Oh well, we we work some pretty. I know, but he has never sported a mohawk on the red carpet. So an opportunity to do that and to allow him. This is your first mohawk with us tonight. Mohawk, yes, first po mohawk in the uh, hitting you the right, uh, the left. It's sparkly. You got some sparkle going on. I find that when I go down the street, I can actually directionally change based on like the position of my head. So you can tell where the wind is blowing, yeah, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm like a rooster. I'm like a, I'm like a weather vane. You know, we're hosting today, so he was. Um, we're, we're announcing he was concerned because uh, he was going to be out heighted by the platforms. So uh, this was my solution. Mm -hmm. The alternative to heels, mohawks. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for being here, supporting us tonight. A pleasure meeting you. Thank you. This is the Queen Mother of the Americas here, who oversees the 68, is it, Imperial Courts? 68 chapters in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Wow. So you have a very big job. Yes, our founder, our beloved Jose, who was a World War II veteran and the first openly gay candidate for public office in 1961, uh, founded this organization in 1965. Uh, she reigned for 40 years, and then she named me her successor. <laughs> Lucky to be you. <laughs> and I also had the honor uh, 29 years ago, years ago at the Waldorf Historian of crowning your first emperor and empress, and that was George and Sybil Brunchen. Oh, I know Sybil very well, very dear friend of mine. I crowned her 29 years ago, and she was quite a character. 
He still is, doll. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about, I mean, what was the inspiration for you to first get involved all those years ago? Well, you've got to remember in the 1960s when this was established, there were no gay organizations. Uh, homosexuality was illegal, and in fact, we were considered deviates. So if you think about Jose, our founder, she established this when a time when just by the stroke of your mother or father's signature or a court, you could be sent to a state hospital. So for those of us that were activists, and I was a Latino and a gay activist, there was no organization to get involved with except the imperial courts. And so I've been involved. I've gone on. I've served the last seven mayors of San Diego. I'm a city commissioner. But my roots come from the imperial court because it was actually the first a gay organization in the United States. Wow. And just think about all the millions of dollars that have been donated to all the other, like sister charities, if you will, um, that, that benefit the LGBT community as well. Well, yes, if you think about it, um, the Imperial Courts have established and founded all kinds of organizations since we've been here for, we're marking our 50th anniversary. This is the 50th anniversary, 50 years of the existence of the Imperial Court. And one of the jewels in the crown of the Imperial Court is the Court of New York, uh, which is a, an outstanding organization, one of our best chapters, very hard workers. And think about that we have no staff and no paid staff and no headquarters, all volunteer. It's amazing that we all can give back like this. Queen Mother, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank, thank you. you. Very oh, thank you. <laughs>Thank you both so much for joining us tonight from the chorus. I mean, I actually know several people in the chorus, and it's also another amazing order organization as well. Is this your first time here to uh, Night of a Thousand Gowns? Yes, it is. I don't recall seeing either one of you. Yeah. Well, you expect a lot tonight. I mean, it's a great cause, number one. We're benefiting a great charity this year, the task force, of course. So it's so much to expect tonight. What is your involvement? Like, what was the inspiration to get involved with the chorus and, and for gay rights also? I just, I love to sing. That was the first part of it. I, so I joined the chorus and I found it to be a very wonderful social organization. So I was very happy to run to be the, the chorus butch. And I'm happy to do the job to, to help the chorus. Excellent. Mm -hmm. and they do amazing things as well. I mean, you've performed in some really great places as well. and also given back to the community. I mean, that's really what it's all about. All right. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for me, the main reason I joined is music can change and do so much. Um, and it's amazing to see how much we've been able to do with our concerts and the things that we do. We went to Ireland and raised uh, money for marriage equality over there. And it's just been very powerful to be a part of this organization. Thank you both so much. So I hope you enjoy the event. It's dazzling, as they say, hashtag. <laughs> Many of you recognize this beautiful face next to me. Grammy Award winning Jody Watley is here tonight at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. You're also going to be performing for us tonight. I'm super excited. I love you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it's such an honor to have you here tonight to support our causes. What is it like for you to be here tonight? Um, it means a lot to me. I know it's a fabulous event, um, but for uh, to raise money for the center, um, and such a great cause, an important cause, and so I'm honored to be here and to be a part of this. It's an honor to have you here tonight. You've also made the cover of Get Out Magazine this month. That's Jody right there on the cover. How does that feel? You're used to it, Joe Doll. Hey, I, I love it. I, you know, um, the editor was just saying it's one of their best issues, and people were happy to see me, and so, you know, I'm still serving it up. Yes, you are, and you're still best known for style and trend in the dance world, in the performing world. You're also a mom. How do you do it? How do you juggle it all? You know what? I try to take care of myself. I'm always in a state of gratitude. Um, drink lots of water, moisturize. Yes. Um, you know, the usual. And, me both. Uh, and a great sense of humor always. It helps life be much better. Excellent. Well, I love your gown, as I said. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's a Jody Watley. Fabulous. Oh, so you're designing now, too. With a little touch of Chanel in there, the black and white classic. Well, I've always uh, been my own designer, stylist, um, pulling things that work for me. And um, I love Asian culture and the style. And this just gives it a bit of pop. And um, so, yeah, Jody Watley. You look absolutely stunning tonight. Thank you so much Thank for being here pleasure. tonight. Thank you. You, you too. Browse. This guy knows his brows, okay? It's all about the brow. 
Thank you. The drag queens are jealous, actually. And I, you know, I don't have to pay for them. I got them for free. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love a good brow. Thank you, honey. Mwah. You too. Mwah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly King is joining me right now. The 29th annual Night of a Thousand Gowns brought to you by the Imperial Court of New York. You look absolutely stunning tonight. I feel like I say that all the time, but I mean it with so hard. And I love the little glitter, glitz, and glam. You all, sometimes you just need that little extra sparkle, you know, and this is called Dazzling, this event tonight. So yes. got to have a little bit here and there, right? Hashtag Dazzling, absolutely. You look stunning. So tell me about the dress. It looks beautiful. Thank you. I'm really honored this year to wear this dress um, because I uh, She's a dear friend of mine, but also an up-and-coming new designer out of Japan named Hiroko. She's absolutely incredible. She did she did my dress tonight. She did my boyfriend's jacket, and she did um, Jarvis Durrell from BH1. She has had it, his suit tonight. So she's she's pretty hot here tonight. It's exciting. I'm glad she. I'm glad I got her for my dress as well. And we were just laughing a little bit. We we got you confused with another Kelly King that's out there. You know, it happens to me all the time now. I'm gonna that's terrible though. I need to look her up and be like, girl, we need some separation. Yeah. Church and state going on. Um, because I know exactly who you're talking about. Let's have a Twitter war, shall we? Oh, I think I'll beat her in Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Twitter down. Yeah. You're absolutely beautiful, though. You are performing for us tonight, the national anthem. Are you nervous? No, you know what? This is, I think, my seventh year here in Night of a Thousand Gowns. And I'm so honored every year to be able to do the national anthem that um, that now it's more an excitement of nerves. Not not the bad nerves, the good nerves. But this year, I think what's really making me nervous is they're, they're knighting me this year. And it's such so a huge honor. And I, Gary just, he stole my heart the day I met him. But this He year, is a heart stealer, that man, isn't he? He is. And he looks good in black. Did you know that Gary and I share the same birthday? We're both April. Did you really? Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Yeah. Wow. So. So funny. Well, happy birthday. It just passed, actually. Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. You. Well, best of luck tonight, honey. You look stunning. Thank Ladies from La Chica joining me here right now at the 29th annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. We seem to be missing one. We're missing Norma. She's on her way down, but um, we are all the way on the top, only the best. And it takes a long time with the elevator. To be here in New York, everything takes a long time. I decided to just go on and get started. Well, ladies, you look absolutely stunning tonight. So great to see you. And I want to congratulate you because you also have a new single that you're releasing very soon also. Yes, it's called Everybody Get Up. It's a collaboration between Arista Freaks, a production team out of Ibiza. Kathy Sledge wrote it, so it was like coming home again, and we sang it together, and it's wonderful. Our family get together here. It's the first one in almost 25 years. Wow. Yes, yes. Shut your mouth. You know, it was only... Well, darling, you're only, what, 30? So you were very young, very young. <laughs> Our spirits are eternal. You know, I feel 35. You look fabulous. Both of you ladies look so great tonight. The glitter, the glitz, and the glam. This is wonderful. I'm, I'm at a loss for words with all these beautiful gowns and these beautiful people. I'm, I'm done. This is too fabulous it for me. Is. It really is. And you ladies are fabulous as well. I mean, 39 years practically that you've been working in, in the business. I'm not giving anything away. You look great no matter what. <laughs> look, it's, what did I say? I feel 35. I have the wisdom of someone 100, and my spirit is eternal. Great way to put it. Is there any plans for like a 40th anniversary in the near future? You know, you never know. You never know. Chic has always been full of surprises. And even though we're the former singers of Chic, yes. we still have a connection because we are still family. Oh, we are family. Okay, <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. No pun intended. Ladies, thank you so much. You are in for a huge treat tonight. Thank you for being here. Avenue Q, everybody has showed up to the uh, 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns. Great to see you all. Congratulations on the Tony winning of the Triple Crown, number one. Wow, what a great show. We have the fourth crown here this evening. You like that? Wow. That jokes. <laughs> It's a so, pleasure to be here. It's such yeah. a wonderful event. It really is. And every year it gets bigger and better. Glitter, glitz, and glam. <laughs> I know. This is the first time I actually feel underdressed in a dress. It's crazy. Look around us. Now, for those that haven't seen your show yet, I hear it's very hysterical. I haven't seen it myself yet, which I do have tickets for the very near future. Okay, so tell us a little bit about it without giving too much away. Oh, well, it's a filthy, filthy puppet show. I love it already. It's done. That's all you need to know. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful show about... Puppets finding their way in the universe. So 
Similar to the Muppets, so to speak, right? Like they have a little bit of a Muppet look, but more attractive. I think they're much more adorable, wouldn't you say? Oh, they're just a little more grown up than the Muppets. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we are much more adorable. <laughs> well, what's it like for all of you to be here tonight and celebrate the 29th annual with all of us? Oh, it's such an honor to be here. It's an honor to support such a wonderful organization in any way we can. Yeah, just having a blast getting dressed up and coming out to support. That's like the best part of charity, right, is getting dressed up. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, I febrezed my hoodie, and uh, I couldn't be happier to be here. <laughs> That's the alternative to showering, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> Avenue Q, thank you guys so much for being here, showing your support. Thank you. <laughs> and another great performer that is here tonight performing at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns, Raquel. I consider you like the freestyle queen. Thank you. Absolutely <laughs> love you. You look stunning tonight. And I know you're very excited about the shoes. Tell me about them. Well, I'm not really excited anymore because they hurt my feet. <laughs> but, you know, I guess... We pay for beauty. Feet, and I love these shoes. I saw them and I had to have them. So, yeah. <laughs> they look so great on you. You are performing tonight. I actually heard you performing. And let me tell you, I could not get down there quick enough to jump on stage with you. Thanks. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, I was a co-chair last year. And I got to come for the first time, and then they asked me to come back and perform, and I was just, I'm so excited. It's a great cause, and it's always so much fun to see everybody all dressed up and having a good time. So. Yes. And you'll yeah. be performing with Joe Zangi here. How are you tonight, Joe? Great. How are you doing? Doing great. You also have a single out there that was a big hit also. Yeah. Tonight I'm singing uh, our duet together, Can't We Try, and I'm also singing um, I'll Be Loving You. So, yeah. Two of my favorites, and I love, 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 love your one hit. Oh my God, we played it 100 times today, and I'm drawing a blank. In a dream, my love, yes. Oh, my God, my dream is to sing that with you. Raquel, darling, thank you so You want to? Do we have time? Okay, you start us off. Go ahead. In a dream, my love, you will find my heart. I think you're ready for stage. I can. Let's do it, girl. Let's do it. <laughs> darling, thank you so much. Great to meet you. Good luck tonight. The legendary Debbie Harry is joining us here tonight at the 29th Annual Night of a Thousand Gowns, the lead singer of the punk rock group Blondie. Great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thanks for being here. It's very nice to be here. What does it mean to you to be here tonight? I understand you're being an honorary, uh, honorary co-chair this evening. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know what if I have to do anything except hang out, so that's kind of nice. You look beautiful. I'm really, I'm really good at that. <laughs> and this is Miss Guy, who is a singer also from the Toilet Boys. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Todd Thomas, who is a, a designer. Hi. Nice to meet you. Excellent. And as I said, I love the brooch, by the way. Thank you. Well, you know, representing, showing up for the event. Is this your first time tonight, tonight of a thousand gowns? Yes. Yes, it is. What do you make of it so far? Uh, I don't think I can make anything of it yet. I, I've seen a few people and said hello, but um, I imagine the excitement is going to build. Yeah the anticipation. You are in for a real treat tonight. Thank you so much for being here and, and supporting our cause this evening. Thank you. You too. Mr. Larry Kramer is joining me right now. What a wonderful man. Saw firsthand in the 1980s, the AIDS and HIV epidemic, wrote a play called The Normal Heart, turned it into a film in 2014. I had the pleasure of being in that film with Mr. Mark Ruffalo. Very profound, very moving. How does it feel? To be here or to make the movie? To make the movie and to be here. I mean, you've earned this spot on the red carpet this evening. Yes. I was very moved by the movie. I thought Ryan Murphy did a great job directing it. Absolutely. And HBO has commissioned a sequel uh, with Ryan and the same cast. So I hope we can all put it together. Um, uh, it's, 15 million people saw that yes. movie. Many, many awards and nominations. It was spectacular. You, not that many people ever see a play, so <laughs> you feel good like your message is really getting out there. Congratulations I, to I you. I think it's really important now that we try and um, realize there's no cure for AIDS and, the, and that, and that um, the infections are right way up again everywhere. And uh, we're not pressuring enough. The government and the Congress and the NIH are still not working fast enough. And we're getting destroyed as a population again. And you don't read about that anywhere. Right. And it's up to us to get out there with GMHC, certainly, and their wonderful new leader, Kelsey Louie. Um, to start putting the pressure on again, making this a, an issue that hits the front page. 
We'll never get a cure otherwise. Well, Mr. Kramer, I want to thank you so much, and congratulations. You're receiving the Imperial Diamond this evening. Something to be very, very proud of for all your hard work. Thank you. Well, this year's Night of a Thousand Gowns has come to a close, but we'll be back next year for the 30th annual. Every year it gets bigger and better. More hair, more glitter, more glam, more fabulousness. Special thank you to the Imperial Court of New York for putting together Night of a Thousand Gowns, Quest Diagnostics, who is a sponsor, and of course, our dear friends Gary Cosgrove, Doris Deer, and all of the Imperial Court of New York. Thank you so much, and thank you at home for watching. See you next time.